Hello and welcome to Xbox Classics. In this installment, the game is Commando's Strike Force, released in 2006, developed by Pyro Studios and published by IDOS. This game was a rather late release for the original Xbox, um, and I picked this game up fairly recently for almost nothing again, because Xbox games can be either um, still expensive somewhat, or they can be dirt cheap like this one. This game um, is another World War II first-person shooter, but what makes this one different from a lot of other first-person shooters, especially the World War II variety, is that uh, this one focuses on stealth and espionage and um, deception rather than just straight, you know, action. The cutscenes um, still have still look really quite good, I have to say, um, with you know some great animation here. The point of this opening sequence, of course, is just to give you an idea of what you're doing in the game. Commando Strike Force. Alright, so let's get right into this. The Nazi army has occupied France. Three difficulty Order levels. I'm gonna play it on easy because I'm not that familiar with this game. The whole idea, of course, is that you are a commando, so you're not extremely well armed and you're not, you know, well armored or anything. You're no, like, you know, you're, you're not like the typical soldier dude who can take um, endless shots and all that. As the game was released right at the tail end of the Xbox's life, um, it can, you can really tell that they sort of maximized what the Xbox was capable of. It doesn't look amazing, but, you know, for Xbox standards, you can tell that this was, you know, rather late release rather than an early release. My name is William Hawkins. I'm a sniper. One of the best. Yeah, I have a gift. A gift from God. I suppose you could say I'm blessed. Oh yes, I am good. I'm part of a team. Frank will be along soon. He's a green beret. He's no muscle. Not stupid muscle, mate. Right? Clever muscle. He'll turn a shit situation into a win. A big win. Last member of Strike Force is Colonel George Brown. He's the boss. What the Colonel says, goes. He's what you call a frontline spy. Give him an enemy uniform and I'm sure he'd make it all the way to Berlin undetected. We're Strike Force. The enemy fear us. And so they should. Right then. I need to get into this town. Alright, so they want you to get right behind him, stealth kill. You can also throw your daggers, and then you can retrieve them. The idea is to remain hidden, so that guy over there can see me, so I'm going to go under the water. Stay hidden. Be smart. Be quiet. Be deadly. You'll hear him repeat that over and over. He loves to say that to himself. Right, what have we got here then? Mm, a Nazi ambush. Filthy crowds 
it's always a step ahead. Entry through the front door looks a problem. Better forget that. I could possibly sneak in the top floor. Maybe catch him with their niggers down. Even so, looks tricky. Need to keep the noise down. Because the game is first person, do you see what's around you in your situation? Because sometimes, you know, if I get out, uh, there might be a Nazi that are looking at me. You can go into this third person view by simply holding uh, right on the D-pad. This allows me to see that guy over there, even though I can't see him in my regular view. And of course you can then move the analog stick around to adjust the, uh, the camera. I'm going to get up behind this guy. Stabby, stabby. Now let's retreat again. You don't have to worry as long as there's no um, enemies on your radar. If there's anyone on your radar, then they can possibly spot you, and that's no good because you're, you know, a spy and you need espionage and all that. The knives that you have only have a limited range, so, you know, you don't want to be throwing them um, at a target that's too far away because then you'll just be wasting them. Oh, there's a guy. Uh-oh, he can see me. How can they how can he see me? That's not fair. Be smart. Be quiet. Mm -mm, that's no good. These guys were alerted to my presence. back. Alright. Well, when stealth fails, that's when you need your sniper rifle. <laughs> the cool little thing about this game is you can go up to the door and look through this keyhole. This guy stop paying attention. Stand up. Open the door. See, like I told you before, he loves to say that to himself. Look through this keyhole. Stand up, open the door, run away. Let them waste their ammo on that. You can see they broke through this window. Take that guy out. Almost dead. Better be careful.
Buddy guy, you flank me. Well, see about this. Alright, now let's go around. Be smart, be quiet, be deadly. And be quiet. I really wish this guy wouldn't stop saying that. That's everyone. Hmm. Don't see anyone, but... Go upstairs anyway. It's a nice moon. Switch to the Luger. Okay, you can press the white button to use a med kit. Handy. Don't see a Nazi. You know, original Xbox standards and all that, but this game still does look pretty good. Say to be quiet, but then you always say that. Repeat yourself over and over. It's not quiet to say be quiet.
Okay, so that's like an exit. I think I killed everyone. Hello, boys. This is a rescue. Grab some weapons and get outside. I saw a Nazi convoy heading this way. I'll go upstairs. Sniping is always fun. Let's see, what am I being shot at? Ah, from that guy. guy. I don't see anyone else. Someone else around? Oh, I see some flashes. All right, so there's a look at the first mission of um, Commando Strike Force. This game is not actually all that bad. So you know, I paid. I think it's two dollars I paid for this game. So you know, for that price, uh, I got my money's worth. Definitely, this is a fun and unique first-person shooter. Uh, because the World War II first-person shooter genre is very crowded, even on the original Xbox, with games like uh, Call of Duty, Finest Hour, um, then, you know, the three Medal of Honors, uh, you, know, you know, there were a whole bunch of these type of games. So, for a game that stands out, you know, I, I can't complain, right? So, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions about this game, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. Also, be sure to hit the like button, because hitting the like button helps support my channel and lets me know that you guys want to see more videos like this. 
So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. If you have any future recommendations for Xbox Classics in the future, um, feel free to leave those in the comment section down below as well. Um, I'm going to be sure to get to you know the more common games, of course. But if you have a game that's like off the wall or something that one that you think that not many people have heard of, because I've covered games like Jaeger before, which are completely awesome and you know it's a very unknown game. Um, leave those in the comment section down below as well, because I'd love to cover the more obscure Xbox classic games, as well as, you know, the more common ones that people all know about, like the Kotars and the Halos and that sort of thing. So, like I said, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Good. We better get moving then.